Major changes to water regulations. The Department of Environmental Protection says its proposal <coughs> is part of the Christie administration's ongoing effort to add common sense to overly burdensome state rules and regulations. But major opposition is aligning. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, FEMA, and New Jersey's League of Municipalities argue it would weaken water quality standards, and a bill in the Senate would reverse the rule changes. One of its co-sponsors is Senator Linda Greenstein. Thanks for being with us, Senator. What shouldn't the DEP revise? Why shouldn't the DEP revise the Flood Hazard Area Control Act? Well, um, as they are trying to revise that. Uh, what they will be doing is weakening the protections that we've worked so hard for for so many years, uh, whether it's our fishery, the fish in the sea, whether it's the water quality, um, whether it's flood control. All of these aspects of water will be revised as a result of what the DEP wants to do. The DEP's and we want to stop it. The DEP's Raymond Cantor said, we're not eliminating headwater protections. It will not allow more flooding or lead to more pollution entering the state's waterways. How would the plan leave the state more susceptible to flooding? Well, we just don't agree with what he said. We do think that the headwaters would be affected. That's the place where the streams um, begin. Um, there were even some comments by somebody from the New Jersey Builders Association that um, really said the opposite of what Cantor was saying. They said, yes, uh, you know, this, the buffers around the, uh, the streams would definitely be affected. Well, so what about we those heard, buffer zones for waterways? Well, what happens there is if we don't have the proper buffering, uh, the waterways are affected and, of course, uh, flood control is affected. You have growth of vegetation, um, you have building too close to the water, and all of those would have a tremendous effect on, uh, on the quality of our water and on flood control. The DEP says it met with state officials and some of the EPA's initial concerns have been ameliorated. Are you satisfied with the information they provided at the hearing? Uh, no, uh, the U.S. EPA had strong concerns. I know that um, the uh, Deputy Commissioner Cantor said he thought those were alleviated and he provided an article in a magazine. But I know that Chairman Smith said, well, get us a letter that, that, that tells us that the U.S. EPA's fears are alleviated. And Cantor said he would try to get that. So at the moment, uh, that issue is up in the air. Builders and business groups argued that it would just streamline an extremely cumbersome regulatory process without relaxing water quality standards. Well, I know that's the position that they're taking, but we did get that admission during the hearing by a high-level official at the Builders Association that these stream buffers would be affected. So indeed, many of the concerns of the opponents of these regulations um, certainly have some uh, I hate to say it, hold some water and uh, need to be taken very seriously. Why do you think the state DEP went ahead with the changes in the first place? Well, I think there's, in this administration, there's a strong push to um, simplify regulations, and they've certainly tried to do that in the environmental area. Unfortunately, environmental protections can't always be simplified. We need to take them very seriously. And certainly, when it comes to climate change, which is also affected by this bill and so many others, um, we need to take it as among the most serious issues we have to deal with. The administration feels that just by simplifying, allowing building, uh, everything is going to fall together okay. and water won't be affected. All right. Thanks for being with us, Senator Linda Greenstein. Thank you for having me.